Steve Hopper and welcome to Flipside. It's the battle of the brains between two teams. It's red versus blue in this game. The first team to answer all the correct questions and convert all of these colored drums in front of me will earn a flip side in each round. If they manage to get three flip sides, then they win the round. And the team that gets to the finale has the chance to win 150 pounds. Should they get there? Well, now it's time to meet the teams. Our red team, the Outsiders. We have Nina, who is a writer, Robin, who's a company secretary, and we have Stuart, the English teacher. How are you doing, guys? Very well. Good, Good thanks. Are you looking forward to this particular test? Very much. Yeah. Now I understand you actually do a bit of quizzing together. Yeah, now and then, and yeah. Have quizzed together in the past and we've quizzed against Robin in the past. Oh, okay. So this is an interesting combination. Well, good luck to you. Moving on to our blue team, the Sherlock Homies. We have Courtney, we have Eula, and we also have Paolo, the TV and digital production students. I love that name, first of all. Who came up with that? Boys did. Us too. I had no input. Do you think you're going to be as good as him at spitting out all that knowledge here today? Yeah, I don't speculate. We only do facts here, so keeping it behind closed doors there. I like that, I like that. So, we're gonna play two rounds today. The team that wins round one will pick the category for round two. And whoever wins round number two, well, they will go on to the finale to compete for the jackpot. Good luck to you both. Are we ready to play flip side? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Round one is a split quiz. Now, you won't be able to hear each other's answers, but you'll be asked the very same questions in exactly the same order. The questions will be from all categories. Now, you can shout as many answers as you like, but be forewarned, if you do happen to pass, it will cost you five seconds. So be very careful. Are you ready, contestants? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go take your places in our isolation booths. Let's play flip side. Oh, I know this. It's Lady Gaga. It is Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Oh. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Oh, that's a... Argentina and Chile? No. Um... China and Russia? Uh, USA and Canada? Peru. US and Canada? Oh, we've got it. Right, strike. I, mean, I don't know his last name. Molly or water, yeah. Water. The, uh, the sun. sun. Uh, the sun, sun reflecting on it. 14th century. 13th century. 12th century. 11th century. Pass. Oh, we're not going to get that. 10th, 10th century. century. 9th. 16th century. 15th century. 14th. 8th. Oh, it's, oh, it's like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. I was like, it wasn't later than that. It wasn't earlier than that. No. Oh. Um, was it nine? 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh, 19, stop, 20, stop, 21. Stop, bro. What, 8, 16? Oh, we got it. Um, the hottest. I feel like Mercury. it might be Mercury. Oh. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. 20, these guys are good. Queen. Yes, Queen. Norway? No, America? German. Which planet is the hottest? Mercury, no, Ven Mercury or Venus. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci. Well done. Primus. Yeah. SpongeBob. Uh, Silverstone. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Japan? Canada. Australia? USA? Anyone who wrote the first fire by Lady Gaga? Oh, come on, pass, 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 pass. No, pass. The UK? 
Oh. Internet browsers. Tinsels, decoration. <sighs> I don't know. Biker like Grove. Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Ali yes. Albino. Chili. <laughs> Pass. 99. 99. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what hey, the we hell? Did our best. We did our best. <laughs> this is round number two, a traditional buzz around. Buzz in if you know the answer. If you get it wrong, however, I'm going to put it over to the next team. You only have five seconds to answer a question. If neither of you answer it within that time, I'm going to move on to the next question. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. If a team gets a flip side, the losing side will get the opportunity to choose the next category. And then we reset the board. OK? Good. And seeing as the outsiders, they won the very first round, they get to pick the first category. Now the category's on offer. Music, film and TV, sport, art and literature, and science and tech. Five categories to choose from. Which will it be? Art and literature, please. <sighs> Good choice, if I do say so myself. How do you feel about that category? Okay, well, we'll see how you get on. So, without further ado, let's play Flipside. Question one. Which author is famed for her detective novels about Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple? Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie is correct. Question two. What was the first James Bond novel to be published by Ian Fleming? Christina Royale. Correct. Question three. This is the opening line from which book? Once there were four children whose names were... Red team. Famous five. Now I'm going to move on to the Charlotte side. Five kids in it. No, I'm afraid the correct answer. And of course, they all knew as well. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Question number four. Which animal is the mascot of Hufflepuff House in the hat three? Red team. Badger. That is correct. It is Badger. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is on display in which Parisian? Red team. The Louvre. Correct. In which country was Frida Kahlo born? Mexico. It is Mexico. Now that is a flip side. Let's reset the board. Come on, Sherlock Holmes. Let's see if you can catch up. Let's do this. Which category are you going to choose? Come on, make it difficult for them. We're going to go with film and TV. Film and TV. How's that common knowledge? Let's find out as we continue with flip side. How many sequels are there to the 1975 film, Jaws? Blue Team. Four. I'm gonna have to pass it on to the Outsiders. Three. Three is the correct answer. Well done, the Outsiders. Who is nicknamed the Dark Destroyer on the game show? The Outsiders. Sean Wallace. Sean Wallace is correct. In the 1979 film Alien, what is the name of the spaceship? Going back to the Outsiders. The Nostromo. It is indeed correct. On Buffy the Vampire Slayer, what is Willow's last name? The Outsiders. Rosenberg. It is Rosenberg. Come on, Sherlock Holmes. In the HBO show Game of Thrones, what is the name of Jon Snow's sword? Oh, snuck in there just in time, Sherlock Holmes. What do you think it is, blue team? Ah, uh, is it like a wolf or something? Gonna have to pass it over, I'm afraid, to the outsiders. No. No idea at all. Well, I have to tell you that it's Longclaw. Unlucky there. What is the real name of Irma Thurman's The Bride character from Kill Bill? We go with red team, the outsiders. Um, Beatrix Kiddo. It is indeed. Well done. Great answer. Now that is a flip side. Come on, you've got an opportunity here. Make it difficult for them. Sports. sports. Like sports. Sports. Do they look like a sports side, do you think? Or what do you think? Do you think they're going to be? They I mean, they're have... full of surprises. Yeah, they're full of surprises. They are full of surprises. They've been doing very well so far. Let's hope they don't score a point. Moving on then to sport. What African country was the first ever to qualify for a World Cup? It goes to the outsiders. Africa. It is not. Come on, Sherlock Holmes. Ivory Coast. It is not the Ivory Coast. It is actually Egypt. I said this, I did, I said this. You should have said it, bro. <laughs> UFC stands for Ultimate Fighting What? 
That goes to the Outsiders. Club. Championship. I'm going to have to take your first answer, which was club. And unfortunately, it's not correct. So we're going to push that on to Sherlock Holmes. Championship. It is championship. <laughs> you snuck in too quick there. Now that is the round. Well done. Winners of that round. The Outsiders with two flip sides. You stormed away with that one, didn't you? What was your favourite question in that, if you can remember? Probably the real name of Buffy. The real name of Buffy. Are you avid, avid Buffy watchers, are you? I'm, I'm a bit of a Buffy fan. A Buffy fan. Who's your favourite character? Um, probably Buffy herself. Buffy herself, of course. Go with the main star. Why not? Why not? Good stuff. Commiserations to you, Sherlock Holmes. How do you feel? Depressed. Yeah, right. Yes. Well, listen, you did very well regardless. You still managed to get a couple on the board there. Massive round of applause. Well done. This is the finale of Flipside. Well done, team. You. You've got the, all the way to the final. How do you feel? Elated. Excited. Lucky. Excellent yeah. stuff. Well, on this round, you're going to have a chance to take home the top prize of £150. But you are going to have to go through well, a bit of a hurdle, as you can see. We have our counters here. If you get a question right, you'll move on to the next counter, which will give you two categories. However, if you get a question wrong, you will go back to the original counter. Each counter will have a different cash prize available, and whatever counter you finish on will be the prize money that you take home today. So you want to get all the way to the very end. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Yep. Good. Well, in that case, let's play the finale of Flipside. On to question one. You have a choice between music and film and TV. We'll do music this time. Yeah. We'll, we'll do music this time. Which German composer born in the 1700s became death? Oh, Beethoven. Beethoven, yeah. Beethoven. Pardon? Beethoven. <laughs> it is Ludwig van Beethoven. You got it correct. We're moving on to the next one. You have a choice between sport and science. I haven't had a science yet. No. Science, please. Who was the English mechanical engineer that first developed the idea of a programmable computer? Babbage. Was that Babbage? Babbage. Charles Babbage. It is Charles Babbage. You move to the next category. You have a choice between art and literature or music. We'll go back to art and literature. Yeah. Art and literature, please. Sitting opposite St. Paul's Cathedral in London is which modern art museum? It's we across know the river, one. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's over the bridge. The it's the Tate, Tate Modern. It is indeed the Tate Modern. Well done. We have film or sport. Which one would you like? No, for, yeah, yeah, sport, please. We're going with sport. Who won the first men's FIFA World Cup? <sighs> Uruguay. It is Uruguay, the South American team. They actually won it twice. And we have one more to light up to get that all important flip side. Science and technology, or back to art and literature for you. Choose wisely, team. I'd have to go for safety and say art and literature. Would, yeah. They're gonna go back for art and literature. Your final question, what is the first name of Professor McGonagall in Harry Potter. <laughs> Minerva. The answer. It is Minerva. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That is indeed a flip side. Well done. You got all the way to the end. You go home with a massive cash prize of £150. Well Thank done you. to the outsiders. Tell me, I'm dying to know. What are you going to spend your money on? I reckon the right, if I book at the right time of year, that might get me a return to Paris. I think I'll go for a nice leg of lamb for Easter. There we Ooh. go. Oh, that's a lovely Bit idea. more realistic. A yeah. nice leg of lamb for Easter. Excellent stuff. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you again soon. On Flipside.